Welcome to our exploration of modern design in software development. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question about Microsoft's new fluent design language. Our viewer is curious about the use of acrylic material in Win32 applications. So, what exactly is the question? Our viewer wants to know if there's a way to implement background acrylic in a traditional Win32 application. This effect, which creates a transparent and blurred background, is visually similar to the blur seen in the Start menu and Taskbar. Additionally, our viewer is curious about the underlying implementation. Is it simply a flag that can be set on a window, or does UWP have deeper control over the desktop window manager? Understanding this could unlock new possibilities for developers working with Win32. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Microsoft's Fluent Design introduces the acrylic material, which creates a transparent and blurred background effect. This can be applied to windows or individual elements. In Win32 applications, implementing background acrylic is not straightforward. It is primarily a feature of UWP, which uses a special XAML brush for this effect. However, you can achieve a similar effect in Win32 apps using the Set Window Composition Attribute function. This function allows you to apply a blur effect similar to that seen in the Start menu and Taskbar. The implementation of acrylic in UWP may involve deeper integration with the Desktop Window Manager, or DWM. This could mean that UWP has control over rendering layers and shaders. In conclusion, while you can't directly use acrylic in Win32 apps, you can simulate the effect with existing APIs. Understanding the differences between UWP and Win32 is key to achieving similar visual results. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. A project called Acrylic WPF brings acrylic effects WPF applications. It utilizes set windows composition attribute and applies a shader for the effect. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. The acrylic effect in Win32 apps can be implemented using set window composition attribute, but it may be laggy. An alternative method has been developed for a smoother experience. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. Acrylic effects in Win32 apps are challenging because they rely on the XAML composition APIs from UWP. To achieve these effects natively in Win32 is unlikely. If you want to use acrylic effects, consider converting your app using the desktop bridge 
or mimic the effects with current technologies. Some browsers, like Chrome, manage to integrate Window Chrome into their apps, but replicating the acrylic effect may require additional techniques. And that's it, guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.